The third misconception is that Muslims are terrorists. What is the meaning of the word terrorist? Terrorist by definition means a person who causes terror. Whenever a robber sees a policeman, he is terrified. So for the robber, the policeman is a terrorist. Whenever any criminal sees a policeman, he is terrified. So for the criminal, the policeman is a terrorist. Whenever any robber sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any rapist sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any anti-social element sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Like the police, every Muslim should be a terrorist to the anti-social elements. I'm aware that this word terrorist it is more commonly used to terrorize an innocent human being. In this context, no Muslim should ever terrorize any innocent human being. Many a time, two different labels are given to the same person for the same activity. 60 years back, when the Indians were ruled by the British government, and there were people who were fighting for the freedom of the country. And these people, by the British government, they were called as terrorists. Whereas by the common Indians, they were called as freedom fighters, as patriots. Same people, same activity, two different labels. If we agree with the view of the British government that the Britishers had tried to rule over India, then you would call these people as terrorists. Whereas, if you agree with the view of the common Indians that the Britishers had come to the trade, they had no right to rule over us, then you would call these people as freedom fighters, as patriots. Same people, same activity, but two different labels. And you can give several such examples. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 6, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu in jaa'akum fasiqun bi naba'in fatabayyanu an tusibu qawman bi jahalah fatusbihu ala ma fa'altum nadimeen O oh, you who believe when a message comes to thee check it up before you pass it on to the third person We have the example of the American Revolution that took place in 1775 George Washington by the British government he was called as terrorist number one and later on he becomes the president of USA imagine terrorist number one becoming the president of USA and he happens to be the godfather of all the presidents including George Bush we have the example of Nelson Mandela when South Africa was ruled by the white apartheid government Nelson Mandela was imprisoned in Robben Islands for more than 25 years and by the white apartheid government he was called as terrorist number one later on when South Africa gets its freedom and the white apartheid government is thrown out Nelson Mandela gets freedom and he becomes the president of South Africa and gets the Nobel Prize for Peace Imagine terrorist number one getting the Nobel Prize for Peace. So here we realize the media, whatever label it gives to a person, that label gets stuck to him. The media it is very powerful. It can turn black into white, white into black, hero into villain, villain into hero. This is the power of the media. We Muslims, we are very backward. We need to use the same media, we have to make it halal, to strive to convey the message of Islam. And I do know that 99% things what come on the television, they are haram. But we need to use the same media, we have to make it halal, to strive to convey the message of Islam. Today is the age of science and technology. The youngsters, they are going on the wrong track. We need to use the same media to bring the youngsters on the right track. And as long as we are within the purview of the Islamic Sharia, we need to use the same media. We have to make it halal to convey the message of Islam. 
to the non-Muslims, to those who are unaware of it.